Hey guys, Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining me in this hopefully short video. Well, it's going to be a little longer because we're going to do some submodeling. So hang on there and we'll be right back. So let's get into some submodeling, right? Um, what you see in front of you is the Mesmerizer Spinner. And the reason that we are showing you this is because we're adding, as you can see here, a new list of submodels. Now, this submodel is also going to be featured in our pro layout. We're going to call this group the Spinner Alert Group. And uh, so, whereas the Snowflakes already have uh, three submodels that we primarily sequence with, we're going to add a third submodel for sequencing in the pro layout that's called the C Spinner Alert group. And with that group, we're going to do what looks like or appears to be a radiation uh, uh, symbol. And uh, I, I'm, I was halfway through doing the first one here, and I thought, what the heck? Why don't I do a quick video? Now, I'm, I'm going to speed this up because this is ridiculously tedious when you make submodels, especially on a model like the spinner that's behind me. So what my goal is, is to add this in and give you a taste of something that uh, you'll see from the programming and how it works on the Mesmerizer whenever you do map it. And this model is going to be in the PPD certified download models on uh, the PPD website. So if you want this, you can, um, go ahead and download it. It's available. All, it will be available at the time this video is posted. But not only that, if you'd like to create these yourself and you want to know how, this is how to do it. And I'm just going to walk you through it. So a little post-production um, video editing here. Um, I was a little excited. I was in the middle of the project whenever I started this video. Just know that ahead of time. Um, but I'm going to start you out to see where we where we're going in order to create submodels. This is the first place we're going to go. Uh, let me go ahead and make me a little smaller. And over here, we're going to go to the Layout tab. And this is all before. <laughs> oh, we've got a wonderful video in store for you. Um, you're going to select your model, and I've already completed it at this point. But to get into the submodel dialog, you select your model, and you come over here to the left-hand side, look for the submodel dialog, click to edit once, and then these little dots show up. Click on the little dots, and now you get to the main screen. Now, if you would like to add a submodel, all you do is you click the Add button. Now, I don't show this because I'm already hot and heavy into the submodel building. You'll see me here in a second. I've already finished all of them. Uh, but in any in any event, you you would create you click add create and then you give this a name and I didn't show you that so I wanted to show you that here's me going on without a clue in the world that I completely was so excited to share this with you. I've done I created the first one here. Uh, the way the mesmerizer is set up, it's set up in groups of twelve in the center here, and all I'm doing is I'm taking uh, the group of twelve and I am doing an outline that will look like the a radiation symbol. It'll look more like a radiation symbol. It's not the radiation symbol, but I, I want six arms and that will be uh, extrapolated and will work well with this new radiation group that we're cr creating, which is called the, the spinner alert group. So to get started, I've already done uh, the first one. I'm going to move on to the second. And uh, I'm probably going to speed this up, but it's very simple. When you are uh, over here in, um, once you've created your group and you just click on this, what, what X Lights will do is it will, it will follow along with you. Um, let me expand this so you can see it just a little better here. So you can see here 57 and through 65. That was the last one that we were at. So 65 is right here. Um, at least I think it is. Let me zoom in because you can there see 65. Now you can use your scroll wheel, and if you have a clicky on your scroll wheel on your mouse, if you have a clicky, you can click on it, and that grabs the screen, and you can move it around. Uh, you can scroll in and out, scroll in and out, zip, 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 zip. Okay, uh, that's enough for probably making you sick. Um, but th 
all I'm doing is following the specific line that is already outlined. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, too, when I do submodels, I kind of cheat. I look for the patterns that are built into it. So I just went into Microsoft Paint, and I drew the lines just to make sure I knew exactly where my intersections were going to be. And in this instance, we're going to use this one here. Whoops. Uh, we're going to use this one here, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. You can't use both of them because it's going to share lines, and we don't want to share lines. Um, for the submodel. So I am just continuing. Now look, see how it's just filling in the blanks at the end here? This is exactly how submodeling works. It's not hard at all. Um, what's nice is you can scroll in here and get even much more closer and finer detail. And you can just, and all you're doing is clicking and dragging and, and then moving. So this one is done. And we, uh, we can uh, click on number three here. Now number three as I said, is this section here. So I'm going to put this over on my other screen that's directly to the right. And I know I started with this one. I went th from 1112 uh, to, let's see, this one here. Now I'm going to go from this one here out to this one here. And if, if that's correct... Let me make sure. So I should be going straight across here, right? So this was one, this was two, this is number three. So that's the beginning. And I'm starting all these, I'm doing them all exactly the same. So we'll probably speed up here so you don't have to listen to me babble. Now you may wonder how I know exactly where to end. So what I'll do is I'll go in here. I know these, the last one is beside the first one. If I come out and whatever makes a straight line, this is my last pixel right here. So I'm going to go one, two, three more. There we go. And then just follow it all the way back in. And it looks like we're done. We're going to do some tests, though, first. And, and it's, it's challenging to, kn to know and make sure that you build it correctly until you put everything into one group. So once you're completed, once you're finished, never hit the X up here at the top. Never hit the Cancel button down below unless you want to erase all your work. I've just added all of these um, uh, individual submodels in here. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And once I do, that saved it in X lights here. And um, now what we'll do is we'll open, extend this out, this uh, mesmerizer model out. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom here. And you'll see at the bottom we have radiation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So this is how we're going to test to make sure I'm not a bonehead and didn't screw it up. Uh, I, I, I've held down the control key on my keyboard, and I've selected multiple ones of these. I'm going to right-click. And I'm going to select uh, to create group from selection. I'm going to call this spinner space A L E R T alert spinner alert. This is the name of the group. This is exactly how it's going to be in the PPD layout, the pro layout. So when you map sequences over, this is automatically going to show up in there. So now we'll go ahead and save this. Let's uh, let's close this sequence out. And let's go ahead and create an animation. And we're going to test this, and this is how we test it. Um, let's go ahead and throw a timing mark down here. 
throw an effect onto here. Let's just start with the on effect. So what we're looking for is in our model preview here, we're looking for a big alert sign. I'm just going to turn the on effect on. And that should turn it on. So this is what the submodel looks like. It's actually kind of cool. Um, let me see. As I inspect this, this looks a little um, odd in the center here. It looks like I missed a pixel here. So let's go back and let's look at that. And I, I sure did. That should be. That shouldn't be there. That should be. Let's see. That should be this row. So we're going to go back and we're going to renumber this one because that's a mistake. See, this is why you test your models out. And this is how mistakes happen. Um, this is exactly how mistakes happen. It's not easy to create. It's easy to create submodels when your prop is only 40, 50, 60, 70 pixels. But when you've got 1,100 pixels or six or eight hundred pixels it's really easy to make a mistake which is why we went through the trouble of working with these uh, certified models to, f uh, to to go through and find the ones that needed a little bit more attention than others right so let's go in sub models here let's make this bigger so number one is the, oh, number one is the one I messed up on and what we can do is we can deselect all of these. We can erase it by holding the shift key down and clicking and dragging, and that'll erase all of them. And we know that this is where I should have started, so I'll just zoom in on that. And there you have it. That's the first one is uh, fixed. We'll click OK. We'll go ahead and click the Save button. And we'll go back to the Sequencer tab, and we'll click on it again. That'll refresh it. And it looks like it looks like that this is pretty well radiationed out, or it looks more like an alert kind of thing. You know, like, hey, pay attention to this. So now let's test it another way. Let's throw a basic single strand effect and make sure all of these submodels act the same way. And to do that, we'll use the single strand effect and grab it and pull it down. And we'll change the default setting for, or the uh, render style to per model default. And what that does is that extends out the effect the whole way. We can make this a little bit longer. We can give it a more brighter color, get rid of the red and the white. There's green. Green's usually a little bit prettier. And that's what the submodel looks like. So it's rather cool. It's a rather cool submodel. It's something that takes it out from the center to the outside and then back into the center. So that's something that we didn't have in the original spinner. Uh, so and and to be honest, I mean we can we can we can do this as well. We can go to um, the PPD website. Uh, we can download. You guys can see this now. So we have the, let's see, here we go, certified models right on the front page. If we go to the Boscoyo section, and then we can go download the new Boscoyo spinner, mega spinner right here, and the 22, the small 22. That one's done too. So we just did these today. Look, it's, it's, it's uh, 831. We just uploaded these today. So the small spinner that's in the pro layout and the large spinner. So if you have this one, just click this and click download. Um, I don't think I was fast enough. Come over here, more, download, and click OK. And now that's in my download folder. If I zoom out here and I click import and I click and drag, now what's going to happen is I'm going to get a download, uh, download mega spinner right there. And look, it's saying, hey, I've already got some groups that exist. Would you like to add the existing groups that are in that model to the groups that are on your list? And it will put the submodels in there as well. We'll click yes. And look at this now. So if we click up here uh, on the spinner alert, looks like we've got a little boo-boo. So yes, we did have a little boo-boo indeed. Um, but... It taught me something that I didn't learn uh, about X lights until just now recording this video. So I'm going to leave it in and just continue on like it works. But it, I'll show you what's going on. So apparently, apparently, whenever you import a model, let's say this one already existed, uh, and I think this is a bug. I stopped and I recorded a, a bug 
report video and send it off to Keith to show him what I'd found. But this is exactly what I found. It looks like I created five, uh, six spinner alert arms on here. And when I imported it, it only imported six of these and it left the other two outside of the group. So we're just going to, if we click on here, you can see it's missing seven and eight. We're just gonna go down to the group level here and we'll show you the quick fix for this if you ever have to deal with this. But I have a feeling they'll look at this and figure out a, a solution for it. But if not, this is how you fix it. So I'm selecting seven and eight. Those are the two that are missing. I'm gonna add this selection I'm, and I held control down and I clicked on each one of these individually and I'm gonna right click add selection to existing group and I'm going to click it and or put a check mark on the alert group and bam now we're in there and guess what we can start testing and having a little bit of fun with this brand new submodel so with that now all taken care of let's go in and uh, let's create uh, I've got a I've got a new sequence here let's go ahead and uh, we'll just create a new sequence discard changes we'll do animation done um, we will put a timing mark in here and we're work we're looking at two groups we're testing the model and uh, the two groups are going to be uh, the well the 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 group is going to be the uh, spinner alert which is right here and we're going to come up here and grab the single strand effect and we're going to place it on to the model uh, we will change the render style to per model default and as you can see here that's what the submodel does. That's kind of what the excitement's about, about adding that into the PPD Pro layout. That's going to be an addition that comes with this month's monthly sequence. Uh, but more than that, more than that, what's going to happen is, uh, let's go ahead and make this a little longer so you can actually see it. Uh, so that's the whole kind of submodel there. You see how it can travel up and down. You can add a fade to it, make it a little shorter so it runs a little faster. And I had a ton of fun adding this in and sequencing with it. There's just one more little thing that you can do. Now, with the Mesmerizer, now, with the Mesmerizer, which happens to be behind me, we can output the lights. And you can see, let me, let me uh, bump up the size of the screen here. There we go. And uh, I think that there is pretty slick. I can see it in the camera up above me. But absolutely a lot of fun to begin playing with some different submodels this is added into the pro layout so if you download the the new spinner um th this spinner submodel this spinner submodel is now created i'm um, we're going to have to add this into the website obviously post-production that will get done it's not there right at this time of recording because i'm making it in front of you so so guys um there's going to be a couple other ones i know jeff is working on i believe i believe he's working on the um uh i believe he's working on what is it he's working on the um the the mother of all wreaths uh he might be working on the grand illusion and a couple other little ones to, to get it going and, and guys that's that's about everything i have for you uh other than a peek at two new groups in the pro or three new groups in the pro layout we're gonna do another full video on that so guys I, I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be we'll start that on another video but for now if you like what you learned today with submodels and finding bugs and what what you can do you know having a little bit of fun with pixels if you like the video, hit the like button. Share it with your friends if you love it. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. And remember, we have an awesome PPU Facebook group, Pixel Pro University Facebook group, that you should totally join if you have any questions. We're happy to help you walk you through things. And finally, if you appreciate everything we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome sequence each and every month. Guys, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.